Hey, this is Wilson with guestgrow.com and in this video, I'll be going over the plugins that I tested to create an online ordering site for a restaurant. Now, the plugins that I'm going to test, the functionality behind it is selecting a date and time at checkout <clears throat> and the date and time has to be a future date and time only. It can't just be any date and time. So I found a couple of plugins and I'm only looking for free plugins because I want to give restaurants the accessibility um, and the ability to make an online platform without paying any commissions or fees. Um, so on my journey, I found a couple of them. The very first one I'm going to go over is this one, Delivery Date and Time for WooCommerce by Code Rocks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and first of all, I'm going to make sure that all of the other ones are deactivated. So um, hold with me while I check on that. I believe they are all deactivated right now. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that one first. And I remember this one. This one actually had a really nice interface, great looking UI, but it just didn't do everything that we wanted it to do. I think uh, one of the things that was happening was it was malfunctioning on the date and time that showed up on the thank you page. All right. So, um, yeah, like, like I was saying, um, really great UI, uh, straight up. I mean, very intuitive. You can choose delivery date, select your time zone. Um, you can enable the delivery date. Uh, make it mandatory. You can change the field. I think by default it says delivery date, but I chose pickup date because this online site is only going to be for pickup orders. And you can choose um, how many days in advance people can order. You can choose when the week starts. So I think it pulls up a calendar and you can either choose like Monday to Sunday or, or Saturday to, or, or Sunday to Saturday, for example. You can choose a delivery date format, which is awesome. Um, you can auto choose the first available date and you can choose the actual delivery days. Okay. So it's really, really cool. Has all the functionality we need, I believe in the date and same for the time. I think, um, in the options that had all the functionality we needed for the time, especially in a free plugin. Um, I think one thing that I would have liked to see is, um, so uh, I think a, a gap in between the time slots, for example, a lot of restaurants are closed between two and five or three and six. And so they don't really have this functionality in the free version. Um, I totally get why though they have um, just one set of times for the whole week. Um, they want you to upgrade to pro, uh, to pro in order to set different times for different days of the week. But uh, for this delivery time, you can enable it. You can make it mandatory. You can choo uh, choose what the label says. I think by default, this also says delivery time. So I change it to pickup time. You can choose when the time starts, uh, slots start, when it ends, um, the, the duration between the slots. Um, you can even choose a maximum order per time slot, which is really, really cool. I actually don't think I saw this in any of the other plugins. Um, there's a, you can choose a 12 hour, 24 hour format. You can also, um, auto select the first available time. Okay. So very, very cool. <clears throat> Let's go through the other options in case, um, I missed anything. Oh, so this one is, um, just any kind of pop-up notices, um, in case any errors happen. I left this all blank because I, I didn't really want to mess with that. <clears throat> Some other options you can choose uh, where you want it. If you want it um, before billing address, after billing address, before order, order notes or after the order notes, I put it before billing address because I want it to be at the very top um, of the of the checkout fields. And then here it tells you the free verse pro options. Okay. So now that I have this activated, I'm actually going to go to the checkout page of this website and refresh it to show you what was going on with this and why I wouldn't choose this as the recommended date and time picker. Uh, for <clears throat> restaurant online ordering. Okay. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's really cool. You can choose. So I chose only one day in advance ordering. And uh, so only one day is available here. That's really, really cool. I chose 30 minute increments and I did choose a time range of 1130 AM um, until 8, 8 PM. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just choose any time here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in all my information and I'm going to go ahead and do a test checkout to show you what went wrong here. <clears throat> All right, so I believe I chose like a 11 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. as the pickup time, but as you can see here, it always shows for some reason a um a 12 12 a.m. until 12 a.m. It's really really weird. I couldn't get it to fix. I even played with the uh, um, time settings of WordPress itself. So I went to settings and I went to general. 
And I even chose this. This was actually at UTC zero before. And I changed it to seven and I went, I did another chest checkout and it still didn't work. So um, I think something's wrong with the plugin's um, ability to pick a, a time. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate it and show you the next one. Okay. So I crossed that one off my list. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that. Then I'm going to go to the next one. Um, I believe the next one was here, this one by, um, by Tyke Software. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this one and uh, it has its own, own little menu area right here. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. Um, so then you can choose en enable delivery date capture. Um, you can choose the calendar, the delivery days. I'm going to choose every delivery day. Minimum delivery time, meaning um, how many how how many minutes in advance the customer can choose. So, for example, if you know if the restaurant knows they can't get an order ready in thirty minutes, then you choose like thirty minutes here, for example. Number of dates available for delivery. Uh, usually, I'm going to choose one because restaurants usually are same day orders. Um, I do want to make the date mandatory, and then uh, it gives you a maximum delivery orders per day. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. So not as functional as um, the previous UI we saw, which gave you maximum amount of orders per time slot, which is really, really cool. I think I would like to see that in the final plugin that I chose. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this, enable default and save these settings. Okay, then I'm gonna go to appearance. I think one thing with this too is there was actually no um, time picker. And so that's probably why I didn't go with this. I think this is more just for uh, choosing your specific uh, date for delivery only and there's no pickup time. Okay, so so I would go ahead and cross this off my list as well. I'm gonna go to plugins and deactivate this one and also delete it. Okay. So the next one actually, um, I was actually really, really excited for this next one is by PI Web Solution. And I use another one of their free plugins that's really, really impressive to me. So I thought that this one was gonna be impressive too, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Um, let me show you, it's um, right here, PI WooCommerce order date and time, uh, date, time and type, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that one. And I can hover over WooCommerce and go to date and time here and check out all the options. Okay. So I wanted to, oh, I remember what the malfunction was here now. So for some reason in the, uh, thank you page, it would, it would never say delivery or it never, it would never say pickup. Even if it asked me enable delivery or big pickup or both, no matter what I chose, the checkout page or the thank you page always showed, um, that the delivery was for the, or the, the order was for delivery. Okay, so uh, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose both. I'm gonna show you two things that, that happen here. I'm gonna enable delivery day and time, that's right. And so there are a bunch of options here that are only pro version. Pre-order days, I chose one, just like the other, pl uh, other plugins. Preparation days, I'm gonna choose zero. And then it also says preparation minutes, meaning um, how what's the soonest the restaurant can get the food ready. Um, also a bunch of pro version stuff here. Pickup label, I just named it pickup. Delivery label, I just named it delivery. Um, default type I chose as pickup time format. I do want a 12 hour. Okay. And it asks you to choose colors here, labels here, which is in the pro version only. And I believe that's it for our free version. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. Okay. Um, so these two, uh, tabs are pro version only, so I can't mess with these. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to pick up locations. Um, I put in some addresses here and I couldn't even pick the pick up locations on the checkout page. That was really weird to me. Um, I chose my delivery start dates and um, pick up start dates and time or end times. Um, all these other ones, if you wanna do it by, um, if you wanna do it by, by weekday, um, then you have to buy the pro version. And it also doesn't give you the gap in between here, which I also would have liked to see even in the pro version. And the date setting, if you choose none, then I'll just activate all of them. And all these other things are pro settings, I believe. Then they even have an order calendar, which is really, really cool because if you have this additional plugin, it'll show you on a calendar when exactly, um, you know, people are gonna come in to pick up the orders and when you need to have the uh, orders delivered out by. Um, and I did, I did have that plugin activated and it did look really cool for the orders that I had, but this plugin just didn't do what I needed it to do on the checkout page. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go to the checkout page. I'm going to open the site in a new tab and go to my checkout page here. So I need to add an item first, actually. Okay, so this was the issue is that I couldn't even choose delivery or pickup or if one was chosen, I couldn't even know which one was chosen or not. Okay, so I'm literally going to just spam click pick up here and see what happens. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick my date. So this worked perfectly. I can choose today or tomorrow. And in the time I can choose um, any future time, which is exactly what we want as well. Also, um, I chose that it takes at least 30 minutes to get the order ready. So um, the soonest time is 515 when right now it's 430. That's great. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a test order here and show you what happens on the thank you page. Okay, so for some reason it, it just always says delivery. I, I don't know why. I'm going to do another one for you and, and just click on pick up once and just prove to you that it literally just does not work. So I'm going to add another um, item to the menu. Click on pick up. It's supposed to highlight because um, I saw in the um, in the settings that one of them is supposed to be highlighted. Choose any time. So, so that date and time works flawlessly. I love that a lot. <clears throat> Do another test order. And it just doesn't work. It always says delivery. And I think this would confuse the customer. Um, I think on the um, email order notification that goes to the restaurant as well, it, it says delivery and that would confuse clients. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this plugin. They, they were really, really close. I was really, really excited again because I used their other plugins, but it just didn't work out for me. So uh, I'm going to go to my plugins. I'm going to deactivate this one. And then uh, funnily enough, the, the one that I chose is uh, the one that's the very last one on this plugins list. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this one. And the one that uh, I believe works is called Woo ODT for Woo Order Delivery Time or something like that. Uh, here we go, Woo ODT Lite. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. So this one, um, it works, um, but it didn't have all the functionality that I wanted. Uh, let me go ahead and walk you through it. On the very left, you hover over, over Order Delivery Time Management. Click on this. Okay, um, I already have my settings from before when I deactivated it, but you can choose pickup delivery or both. I'm gonna go ahead and choose both so I can show you um, what options you have. Pre-order days, I think the other plugins have this as well, where you can choose the amount of days people can pre-order. Usually I like to put, put one because um, my restaurants don't like to mix up orders seven days in advance. Um, I wanna make the time selection mandatory. Uh, I do wanna ask for the delivery or pickup time. Then you can choose your range for pickup hours and your range uh, for delivery hours. So I left that be. Again, I, I really wanted it to have like, um, for you to choose different times for different days and also um, a gap in between the times for specific restaurants. But you know, this is good enough. Uh, minimum delivery time. So this is only if you choose delivery that um, if there's like a, a minimum time for the order to get ready. I wish they had this for pickup too, but it just doesn't work. Um, you can change all the labels here, which is really cool. And um, this this is this one actually doesn't work where you put the position of the text um, in the orders page. No matter what you choose, it only shows on the bottom. I would really like it to show on top, but honestly, it's not a deal breaker. <clears throat> and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. Then I'm gonna uh, go back to checkout. So I'm gonna go back to the site. I'm gonna go back to the menu and add a menu item and show you why this was my choice. Okay, so for this one, um, you can choose pickup or delivery. Okay, so it highlights whichever one. I'm gonna choose pickup. You can choose your date and you can choose your time, which is really, really cool. So the one thing about this, again, I would have really liked it if they had that gap where it, uh, they can't choose a time like 30 or 45 minutes out, just in case some restaurants just take a little bit longer to get their order ready. Um, but you can still choose a future time, so that works flawlessly. And I did put a notice here that says select the time at least 45 minutes from now. Um, so there, there is some kind of notice to the customer. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a test checkout to show you what it looks like. And this one honestly just satisfied uh, what we wanted, especially versus the competition. It's, it's, we were basically forced just to go with this one uh, for a free version. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of the restaurants have gone with this one, and, and it's fine. 
Um, it's, it's done over, I'd say like 30 or $40,000 in sales combined with no problem. Um, so it's been working pretty well. And there you go. So it shows you the date, time, order type. Um, it's supposed to say uh, pickup, but I think in my emails it says pickup. Uh, and, and you know, this, this is the, this is my choice for a free version of picking date and time. If you're a restaurant, brick and mortar, um, if anyone is picking anything up from you, then I would definitely use this Woo ODT plugin. Uh, if you think that there are other plugins that I missed, uh, that have free versions that are better than this, please let me know. I would really love to know. And if you have any questions about how I tested, um, then also leave the, leave some comments below. All right. Thanks so much.